G'day guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today is a very exciting one. We are out on the kayak, as you can see. Beautiful bloody day. We are out targeting snapper, pinky, whiting, flathead, whatever we can catch, we are gonna be cooking up today. So it is a bit of a living off the ocean type deal. Let's get into it, baby. Just come across this plastic bottle here. I was gonna pick it up just because it's lit up, but it's connected to a rope. So it's probably some sort of crab or fish trap of some kind. So I might just let it be. I'm sure someone will come back to collect that, but that's yeah, pretty cool. Mate, there are boats bloody everywhere, but uh, to be fair, my kayak is high fizz, so we should be all right. <laughs> Second rod going out, got the flathead rig on there. Yeah, run here, run here, run here. Come on. What have we got, what have we got? Oi, flatty. Get the net. Get in there. Let's go, baby. That is a decent little flatty there, so we're gonna cook him up for sure. Let's go, let me just bring him up for ya. He's maybe about mid 30s in size. Legal limit's 27, I think, so this guy's definitely legal, but uh, not the biggest, but yeah, we'll try and get another one. Make it worth it. I am using my flatty rigs today, but I have caught whitey and I have caught pinkies on them before. So if we can get a different species, that would be awesome. But if not, that's chill, because as you guys would know, flatties are bloody good eating. So even if we just catch a couple flatties, that's chill with me. Yep, fish on, fish on, let's go. Oh, he's off. No. Come on. Ah, oh, he came off, no. Get it back out there, surely he comes back. He has to. Please come back. Yep, there he is, there he is, got him. Fish on. Ah, oh, it's a wrasse. Damn, okay, so that's not what we're after, but um, I guess a fish is a fish. That is a, that is a blue-throated brass. I think you can eat them, but they're not the greatest, so I'm just gonna let him go. All right, let's get it back out there. Big King George Whiting would be fantastic right now, let's see. Oh, bikes. Oh, there we go, fish on, fish on. What is it? Here might be another wrasse, to be honest. Yeah, another wrasse. Um, definitely a bigger one than before, but um, again, we're looking for something to eat, so not the greatest. Yeah, we've got something here. I'm just on the way back and I just cast it in, drifted along. What is it? Oh my God. Yo, big flatty, big flatty. Yes! Mate, that is mega. Let's go. I literally was just on, on the way back and I've just cast it in just because, I don't know, it looked like a decent spot. Big bloody flatty. Yeah, so this bloke, as I said before, legal limit's like 27 or 28, I think. This guy's easy 40 centimeters, so he is a good one. All right, I think I'm gonna call it there, head back home. The weather's gotten pretty sour. We did get two very good flatties. One was pretty big, one was just a bit over uh, legal limit, but yeah, gonna keep them both. That's enough for a feed for me, so I don't think I really need to stay out and get any more than I actually need or I'm gonna eat. All right, so I'm just heading back to the house now to cook them up. These are the flatties that we've got today. Really, really good eating size, so I'm happy with how it turned out. 
Uh, it's going to be super simple. I'm pretty much just going to fillet them and crumb them in panko crumbs, eggs and flour. And yeah, just shallow fry them like that with a couple herbs. So super simple, but super good. So I've skipped forward a little bit. I've got the fillets here. I've got some flour, some egg and some panko crumbs and then just some, some herbs. Now for the cooking, I'm just using canola oil, so I just give it like a, I don't know, generous amount so you can sort of shallow fry them. Yeah, they really don't need long at all, maybe a minute or two each side, so I'll just chuck them in there. Mate, look at that, that looks bloody awesome. So yeah, just about a minute or two each side, and then we'll just give it a flip, and then that should be all we need. Alright, it's been about a minute, so I'm going to give them a flip. Oh. Oh yeah, perfect. So you just want it to be a sort of golden brown. Just give them a flip and then the same amount of time on the other side and then that should be all you need. Get them off. Mate, how good does that look? I've just chucked some herbs on it, some salt, pepper and some tartare sauce on the side. And yeah, that's ready to go. Hey, hey.